This is activity 5 of your grade 9 English pupil book. This is a passage for you to read. I will read this. You may listen. Abilities and talents. Different people have different abilities and talents. For example, among us, there are people who are artistically inclined. They may have a host of talents such as music, dancing or painting to name but a few. Then there are those who have a natural ability for technical activities such as working with electronic gadgets. Many of us are usually fortunate enough to find out early in life what we are really good at and make a success of it. However, as implied by the popular saying, you do not know what you can do till you try. Some people fail to discover their true potential. A child, for example, may just sit somewhere with a box of crayons beside him, but he will never be able to find out if he has the makings of an artist until he starts working with crayons. What really lies beneath someone's success in any field is dedication and hard work. James Watt or the Wright brothers, for example, did not make their innovations overnight. They were driven by true interest in what they were trying to achieve. So we should all aim at deriving the maximum benefit and satisfaction from our abilities and talents. Now children, can you see there are certain words which have been highlighted, bold. Like this, let us are bold. Now see, for example, for, among, of, for, of, of, for, of, beside, of, beneath, for, at, and from. All these are prepositions. We will learn what prepositions are later. Now we have a few questions over here. Let's try to answer them. Name two things that artistically inclined people are good at. Music and dancing. Very good. What else can you say? They are talented in painting, drawing, right? Artistic uh, means like aesthetic subject. What is the popular saying quoted in the passage? What is the popular saying? You don't know, you don't, you do not know what you can do till you try. Very good, that is the quote. Who are the inventors mentioned? I remember uh, two names. James, James Watt and Wright Brothers. Very good, very good. Right, inventors means making something for a, for the first time. Okay, what helped them to be successful in their work? Dedication and hard work. Very good. If you have the dedication, passion, and interest, and you work hard for it, you can achieve anything. The key, the secret here is finding what you really love. When you love something, you naturally are passionate about achieving that part. Now we have to find synonyms. Find words from the text which mean much the same as the following. So we have to find similar words. By the side of. Beside. Very good. Now that is in bold letters here. Beside him. Find for the first time. Invention. Inventor, yes, inventing actually. Lucky, fortunate, fortunate, very good. Last one, highest, maximum, maximum, very good. Now, please write the answers. Right. 
right now we are moving on to prepositions let's see what prepositions are now previously we learned what collective nouns and the verb agreement so we are going to learn prepositions now prepositions are link linking words right they are used before nouns or pronouns and in the ing form of verbs to show place position time direction or purpose right now for uh, for example i have my phone on the table now i need to link the relationship between my phone and the table right i want to show where the phone is placed the position of the phone then you have to use the preposition on where is my phone it is on the table now we can understand the phone the phone is placed on the table right now uh, there are three examples given in your book here fish live in water what is the relationship between a uh, fish and water they live in water right in is the preposition over here my best friend is suresh i often borrow story books from him now see the link between um suresh and myself borrowing books i borrow from him from is the from is the preposition my brother is good at solving crossword puzzles the relationship between your brother and him him uh, solving puzzles is that he is good at that job right okay now we have a few uh, activities here study the prepositions highlighted in the text abilities and talents now we already read the highlighted words among for of beside beneath and from now you need to put these six prepositions in the six blanks below let me see if you can do this the little girl was sitting what is the similar word from uh, next to her mother like beside her mother. very good beside her mother by the side of her mother number 2 some among of the mangoes some of the mangoes in the bag aren't ripe enough very good i received this picture postcard from my uncle in canada very good from my uncle in canada number 4 most children have a liking yes for chocolate most children have a liking for chocolate the river flows very fast how do you call we need the below uh, beneath the bridge very good the cottage is hidden among the trees among the trees that that's the last one now please check your answers Moving on to the next one, activity seven, writing. This is a uh, writing exercise. Sukun, a grade nine student, wants to write a paragraph about his best friend for the class wall newspaper. Imagine you are Sukun and write the paragraph using the following details. Now they have given the details as this. Name is Ranuka. good at english reads a lot fond of learning new words loves solving crossword puzzles writes stories and simple poems in english can sing english uh, english songs president of the junior english literary association helps me with my english always encourages me to speak in english he seems to be a very good uh, child now you learned a lot lot of information about this boy ranuka so they have asked you to start like this 
my best friend Ranuka is you can uh, do this one is good at English now let's start writing I will also write with you my best friend Ranuka actually is good at English right next point says reads a lot fond of learning new words now we can start the next sentence he reads a lot and loves sorry and is fond of and is fond of learning new words next one he loves solving crossword puzzles you can simply say he loves solving crossword puzzles Of solving crossword puzzles, then write stories and simple poems in English. Now, since we used the pronoun he he uh, two times, we can say Ranuka is. Sorry, Ranuka writes stories. And simple poems in English. You also can see English songs. What else, children? President of the Junior English Literary Association. You tell me a sentence with that. Ranuka, Ranuka is the president of the Junior English Literary Association. Yes, we are. Uh, you can say like that. Okay, yes. as well next point is he helps me with my english we can actually combine these two uh, sentences together because it's the same thing he helps me with english and he encourages me to speak in english so we can uh, combine these two with the conjunction and He helps me with my English and always encourages me to speaking English.
Have you finished? Can you see the font in red? Can you see the passage I have typed in red? Yes, please. Okay, okay. Now I think you have uh, completed your work. Let's move on to the next one. Activity eight, the speaking activity. There is a picture. This is the picture. Okay. You need to describe what you see in this picture. Use the words given in the box when describing the picture. You have a few prepositions here. In, on, beneath, beside, among. You have a few nouns over the uh, over the last column here: balloons, stage, drama, guitarist, and keyboardist. You may begin like this. This is a scene from a school concert, and you can go on with describing. Can somebody start? There are three instrument players in the picture. They are uh, the guitarist, the organist, and the drummer. Okay, right. The keyboardist. Now uh, let's use the prepositions of the position of the keyboardist and the guitarist. You can say the guitarist is beside the keyboardist. Okay. Among the six girls, there is a girl is singing. Ah, among among the girls, one girl is singing. Singing. The singer. Okay. What else? How about the balloons? There is a bunch of balloons. Balloons. Hanging on, on the stage, hung on the ceiling, I think. Okay. Stage. Stage. The stage is occupied by a singer, a few dancers, and a band, a band of musicians. Okay, right. Okay, children. Moving on to activity nine. Now this is a listening activity. Now you need to listen to the passage given by your school teacher and choose the correct answer. Okay, you can do this at school. Okay, now. Please move on to your workbook, please. This is grade 9 English workbook. Everybody is good at something. Activity 1. Now you have a few prepositions, seven prepositions actually. You need to fill in the blanks with these prepositions. Okay. Tell me the answer for the first one, please. We had lunch at a restaurant beside the river. Beside the river. Very good. Let's write beside the river. Can you see the answer written? Yes, teacher. Okay. Next one. Sumudu comes to school from Piliandala. Very good. From Piliandala. The cat has climbed to the top of the tree. the tree. Yes, to the top of the tree. Next one. 
I want to buy a story book for my brother. For my brother, I love walking among the among the ruins of Anuradha. We found pleasure in sitting beneath a huge beneath. mango tree. Yes, very good. Last one. How far is it from here to Candy? To Candy. Very good. Uh, let's finish this one. Children, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Right. Now we are moving on to activity number two. Ah, here you need to match the words in column A with their meanings in column B. Please take a ruler and let's get ready. Your uh, collective nouns are crowd, class, committee, staff, crew. Now let's start from this side. A group of students who are taught together. Class. Yes. Class. Very good. You match these two there. Next one. People who work together on a ship. Crew. Crew. These two. Okay. A group of people chosen to discuss something or decide something. Committee. Very good. Committee. These two. A large number of people in one place. It's a crowd. It's a crowd. Very good. Last one. A group of people employed in running a business, a school, etc. Staff. Staff. I hope. You are done with this one. Moving on to activity number three. Complete the sentences with the words given in the box. How many players are there in a volleyball team? Team. Okay, very good. The consists of 40 musicians. The orchestra consists of 40 musicians. Good. The ship. Crew. No. It's always a crew if you talk about a ship. There was a large crowd. Very good. Crowd at the football stadium. The last one. My family. My family have always been my greatest supporters. Well done, children. Let's quickly move on to activity four. Underline the correct preposition. Okay. Every evening after he returns home from, from work, my grandfather sits Beneath, beneath a big banyan tree at the far end from our garden from our garden for about 30 minutes he says it relaxes him a lot here put the relaxes it should be s here okay i always sit beside him beside him and together we watch the birds flying to their nests. To their nests. We also look at the clouds and play a game of guessing what their shapes look like. I really enjoy being there with my grandfather in the twilight. Among the sounds. Among the sounds of crickets and rustling trees. I wouldn't miss it for the whole world. Very good. 
you can see the answers over there. We have come to the last activity. Imagine you have a friend who is very good at music. He or she is a good singer and has won many, many singing competitions. He or she can play several musical instruments as well. He or she also tries to write songs and compose music. His so her ambition is to become a top musician one day. Add your own ideas and write a short composition about your friend. Now, you can start. Imagine you have a very uh, good friend who's very good at music, right? Now, I will start like this. She's a good singer. Now, you have to uh, write about this friend. Do, do you remember we wrote about Ranuka? who's a good yes. helper in English, just like that. Here you have to write about a good friend who's really good at music. Okay. I would start like this. My friend Anne is very good at music. He is a very good singer and has won many singing won many singing competitions a few among them are, please tell me your children, uh, a few names for, of singing competitions. We will just make up uh, a few names. Can you help me please? Let's say... Sri Lankans Got Talent. Ah, very good. Sri Lankans Got Talent. Give me another two. Oops, this G and T have to be capital Y. These are the names of TV show. Talent. Dream Star. And Singing star, we just write like that. Okay. And also can play. Uh, what are the several musical instruments she can play? We will say she can uh, play piano and several of we will write at this rate piano, flute, and guitar. She can also play these instruments very well. She also tries to write songs and compose music. We can say she also attempts writing her own writing. She also attempts to compose music. Her own songs. One the song post by her old cars is 
is my favorite among all her work and her ambition is to become a top music musician one day we can just do that her ambition is to become a top musician one day now we can add our own ideas here what else in my opinion i will write in my opinion and is the best musician I have ever seen among all the children in our school. This is my opinion. You can say, I wish her all the very best for her future. For future in becoming. A top musician. Okay, now children, did you understand how to write this one? Now, with that, we have come to the end of unit one. Unit one of your English workbook, grade nine.